All right, everyone, buckle up because today we are diving deep into the fascinating world of Forex candlestick patterns. Fascinating is right. There is a whole psychology behind them, you know? Yeah. And, you know, I always say the best way to learn something, anything really, is to make it fun. Couldn't agree more. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Sounds good to me. We're going to look at these candlestick patterns, you know, these visual representations of price movements. Oh, yeah. Those are super useful. But we're going to imagine them as characters, like they have their own little personality. Uh-huh. I like it. So we're bringing the human element to these technical charts, huh? Exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, these patterns reflect human behavior, right? Hopes, fears, that whole shebang. Absolutely. Greed, fear, indecision. All of it plays out on those charts. It's almost like a little play unfolding with each candlestick, a different character taking the stage. I like that analogy. A market melodrama, if you will. Exactly. So let's jump right in and meet some of our cast, shall we? Let's do it. I'm already intrigued. Okay, so first up, we've got this big, bold, brash character we call the bearish engulfing pattern. Ah, yes, the bearish engulfer, a classic. Now, if you're picturing a candlestick chart, this pattern looks like a big old bearish candle just swallowing up the previous smaller bullish candle. Yeah, like a predator just completely taking over. You know what I always think of when I see this pattern? What's that? It's like that moment in a movie where the villain walks into a room and everyone just stops and stares. Oh, I can totally see that. That commanding presence. Like they're in charge. No. Right, like they're the ones driving the action. So what does this bearish engulfer tell us about what's happening in the market? Well, it basically screams sellers are in control. This pattern shows us that sellers have overwhelmed the buyers and they're pushing the price down with serious force. Okay, so if I see this pattern pop up on my chart, that's probably a good sign to maybe hold back on buying, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Unless you're, you know, really into swimming against the tide. No, I think I'll stay on the shore for this one. Makes sense. Okay, so we've met our powerful, decisive, bearish engulfer. But not every character on our candlestick stage is so sure of themselves. True, true. You've got all sorts of personalities out there. Exactly. So let's talk about the doji pattern. If the bearish engulfer is the confident villain, the doji is. The doji is more like, hmm, that character pacing back and forth in their apartment, just completely unsure of what to do next. Oh, I love that. Yeah, frozen in indecision. Right, and visually, it's this tiny little candle where the opening and closing prices are almost exactly the same. So it's like the market took a step forward, then a step back, and ended up right back where it started. Exactly. A whole lot of nothing, seemingly. But even though the doji seems indecisive, it can actually be a pretty important signal, right? Absolutely. Think of it this way. Sometimes the most interesting moments in a story aren't the big action scenes. Right. Sometimes it's that quiet moment before the storm hits. Precisely. And that's what the doji often represents. It forms at those critical points where the market is about to shift, maybe reverse course. So it's not just about indecision. It's about anticipation. Yeah. Waiting for the next big move. Exactly. It's like the doji saying, hold on, folks, something's brewing. Ooh, I like the drama. I could keep things interesting. Absolutely. Well, this deep dive has certainly been interesting so far. Glad to hear. You know, it's amazing how much you can learn about market sentiment just by looking at these candlestick patterns, almost like you're reading their minds. It is pretty cool when you think about it. I mean, these patterns are just visual representations of price data. But when you start to think of them as characters, as reflections of human psychology, it adds this whole other layer of understanding. It does. It really does. And it makes them so much easier to remember, too. Absolutely. And that's key, right? Because the more we understand these patterns, the better equipped we are to navigate the markets. Right. To anticipate those potential shifts and make informed decisions. Exactly. But remember, like any good story, the market is full of twists and turns. And these patterns are just clues, not guarantees. Exactly. They're like those little breadcrumbs Hansel and Gretel dropped in the forest, pointing you in a general direction. But you still got to find your own way through. Love the analogy. And never forget the dangers lurking in the woods. So true. In trading, those dangers are all the other factors we need to consider. Economic news, market trends, our own risk tolerance. Right. So learn your candlestick characters, but always stay aware of the whole forest. Great advice. Well, folks, that's a wrap for our deep dive today. Hope you enjoyed this fun take on Forex candlestick patterns. Yeah, it was great to chat about this stuff in such a you know engaging way. Absolutely. And remember, these patterns are more than just technical indicators. They're whispers of the market, revealing its hopes, fears, and indecisions. 
learn to listen, and who knows, maybe you'll write your own trading success story. And remember, even the most confident bearish engulfer can sometimes get stumped by a little doji. So stay curious, keep learning, and keep exploring the fascinating world of Forex trading. Well said. Until next time, happy trading, everyone. Happy trading. Mm -hmm.